ever the dutiful daughter, or maybe not so dutiful, but on her father's deathbed, he really asked her to marry a young Quaker lawyer named John Todd, which she did. And the couple had two children together. And, you know, her life looked pretty bright, young, up-and-coming lawyer. And we would probably never have heard about Dolly Madison, or certainly not Dolly, but the yellow fever epidemic swept through Philadelphia in the summer of 1793. It killed first her in-laws, and then it killed her husband and infant son on the same day. She was actually um, sick, but obviously recovered. So by the time Dolly meets uh, Congressman James Madison, she's already had a lot of grief in her life. As this young widow with a toddler son, Dolly started to attract a fair share of interest in Philadelphia. An acquaintance later wrote about her, her smile, her conversation, her manners are so engaging that it is no wonder that such a young widow with her fine blue eyes and large share of animation should be indeed a queen of hearts. So I've got some props next. She is a 26-year-old widow. He is a 43-year-old bachelor. <laughs> I know. I couldn't help myself. She is voluptuous at 5'8". He is a slender, depending if you liked him, he was, if you liked him, you said he was 5'6", and if you didn't like him, you said he was 5'2". <laughs> On the surface, they really did not have much in common, but in the years ahead, their marriage is going to be both a loving reunion and a political partnership that we've never seen the likes of. 